Hello everyone, my name is Janine Doyle. I'm a Creative Memories Advisor in Victoria, Australia. Today I'd like to show you how to make this little gathered border and these little flowers. I've used the Spring Medley Tone on Tone papers. I love this dark blue and the way it looks a little bit washed out. I've got one page layout done, but I thought I might turn it into a two page layout. So where I've got the flowers here, I might put some more flowers over on this side. So to make this layout, with one piece of paper, the double-sided paper, I've cut out nine of these spring leaf chain borders using the Border Maker cartridge. Now, if you need to know how to use this machine, if you've never used it before, there are videos on how to use it, but it is a great tool. Now, two of the borders I've used here and turn them on the grey side and glue them down with our repositional tape. And two of them I'm going to use on the green side and make a little gathered section for the middle. Now to make this little gathered section, take a, one of the borders that you punched and I find it easy just to give it a little bit of a fold first. So all I'm going to do is fold it a little bit Bend it up just like that and here's one I've done before so we're going to use two to get that one 12 inch length what I'm going to thread up the middle and I'll just pop my little page aside for now what I'm going to thread up the middle is a little slice of green cardstock now I'm going to cut it fairly thin. With this trimmer you can cut a very thin slice of cardstock. I'm going to cut in between the two dotted lines, the cutting line and the other dotted line. You can see I've just got a very thin slice and that's what I'm going to use, like you would your thread, through the middle of this border to make a little lace edge. I've got a darning needle. I'm just going to thread that and just fold it over and flatten it out. And now I'm ready to sew. So what I'm going to do is the hole down the middle of this spring leaf chain border I'm just going to do a running stitch and just go in and out right down the middle and because I've already pre-creased all the little border it's easy it just threads onto the needle easily That's one. I'm just going to give it a little tug and a little tease to start that little bit of cardstock coming through the centre hole. Just be gentle. But don't pull it all completely all the way yet. We'll start with the other piece. When it's completely done, I'm just going to tease it down, just gently. I'm just going to take the needle off. 
just stretch out the gathers. Now I want to secure this end a little bit. I'm just going to use a little bit of tape runner. I just want to put a little bit of tape runner on the end there. That's easier probably to do it on here. Just to hold it in place. Just on the other end, just going to use a little bit of tape on her too. Beauty of the double-sided tape runner is it sticks on itself and holds everything in place. So that's what we've got. It's our little gathered centre part of our border. Just adjust the little gathers a little bit. Now in the middle, there is where the two join. Now if you want to, you can put just a little bit of tape runner on it. and join the two pieces together. But really, when it's all gathered, you won't see the centre. And that's our little section. So what we're going to do next is we're going to stick it to the page. And to do that, I'm going to use some of the little foam squares. The foam squares are fantastic because they stick really well. But also too, with this border, they'll allow for a little bit of depth. to hold the gathers off the page a little bit. Just take the backing off. Now when you're happy with the gathers, it's just a matter of sticking them down. I just like to stretch it out the full length first and then straighten it in the middle. And then we've got the borders done. Now, to make the flowers, I'll just move that aside for a minute. Now what I've done to make the flowers is I've used another little piece of the Tone on Tone Spring Medley paper. This one's got a little beige, little, little um, stripey pattern through it. So what I've used is the medium sized custom cutting system circle and the blue blade. To make the three flowers you'll need six of these little circles. So that's the last one that I need. To make the little flower, I also use our corner rounder, our double corner rounder, because you can use it two ways. So what we do with the little circle is we fold it in half, just straight down the middle. We pop it into the corner rounder as far as it will go and punch. We flip it over push it into the corner rounder as far as it'll go and punch. And what we'll get is this little shape. This little shape will bend up in half again. And we'll do the same. We'll pop that right into the corner as far as it'll go, flip it over and push it right into the corner as far as it'll go. And what you'll end up with some little petals and then I just like to give them a little bit of a bend just like that so again a circle just fold it in half and put it in the corner around her push it in all the way punch flip it over in all the way punch fold it in half again Pop it in the corner rounder, punch, flip it over, 
Put it in the corner around it as far as it'll go. And then you've got your little petals. So again, just give them a little crease. So to make the flowers, I just glue two together. So in the middle of one, a little bit of tape runner and just line it up in the centre. And there's our little flower. Now with the ninth bit of um, border, four and four, this is the ninth bit, I've cut it into little sections. So I've used another 12 inch strip of the card, threaded one of the border strips on, using the same technique. I'm just going to use a little bit of tape runner Just to hold the edge in because I'm going to make three flower stems. Two I've already made the same way. This one's going to be a bit taller than the others. So all I'm going to do is just add a little bit of tape runner in here. This bit of the flower is going to be down under the border so you're not going to see the tape runner. It'll probably help it stick anyway. And just with a pair of scissors just going to trim that off now. So now to attach the flower, I'm going to use one of the foam squares, but one of the larger foam squares. So what I'm going to do is just pop the, the foam square and the tip of the stem. Then I'm going to stick that on the back of the flower, just there. And then we've got our flower stuck to the stem. That's all we need to do. So that's our three flowers. Now just in the middle of the flower, I've used some of the spring medley stickers. It's these tiny little stickers here. That I've just used for in the middle of the flower. Just finishes it off. Now the flowers are, and stickers are beautiful too. So now I'm ready to stick the flowers in place. Now, all I have to do now is decide where I want the flowers to be stuck. I still want plenty of room on the page for photographs. Just a nice little collection there. And then I'm going to use some small foam squares just to attach the stem. So I'm going to put one there, just a couple. And there we go. Now I have a two page layout ready for photos. Hope you enjoyed it and I'd love to see your versions. Bye.